In this tutorial, I'll show you how we can make this cool menu on your Elementor website. So after clicking on this hamburger icon, you can see this beautiful menu with this beautiful animation. And when you hover over on the menu items, you can also see the different color and image for each of them. So without any further ado, let's see how we can make this beautiful menu. So as we want to create our this menu as a header, so from the dashboard, first go to this theme builder option and click on this header, then click on this add new button. Let's close this. And here I will start everything from scratch. But if you also don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this thing as a ready-made template, you can also get this from my template shop. And here as a bonus, you will get both the normal and the transparent header version of this. So after downloading the zip file and unzipping that, here you can see all of them and inside each of them, you can see these two versions, this one for the container and also for the non-container section column version. If we go inside that, here is the JSON file. So we just need to go to our this template upload option and just drag this file to here and insert this. And here we can see our this menu is also perfectly working. And from here, you can also edit all of these menu options, all of the images and all the things. You just need to click on this publish button. And from here, we can add the condition. So if you want to keep it for your entire website, just keep it like that and click on the save button. Now, if you go to your website, you can see this header is also perfectly working. And this menu is also perfectly working from the tablet and mobile devices. Okay. So if you also don't want to get this ready-made template, you can also start it from scratch. So I want to delete all of the content. And here, first of all, I want to create our that top header section. So click on this plus icon and take this to column structure. And here, first, we need to add our logo here and also the hamburger icon on the right side. So let's drag an image widget and upload an image. It looks too big. So let's reduce its size from here, make it to 90 pixel and also fix the alignment. So from this container settings, make it to the left. And here I also want to link it to my home page. So go to here again and make it to custom URL and type the URL. Then on the right side to create our that hamburger icon here, we don't use this default icon widget because I don't like that default bold icon. Instead, I want to create this with the divider widget. So for this, here first take a, another container and inside that, let's also drag and divider widget, go to the style and also remove the gap. And I want to copy this two more times. So if we just open the navigator from here, we can see that properly. So just duplicate this. So right now this looks too weird. So first of all, let's go to the container and reduce the gap between them. Set a width for this container. So first make it to full width and make it to 30 pixel and also remove the gap around that. So make it to zero. And right now that looks good. So we also need to align this on the right side. So go to here and make its alignment to the right side. Lastly, here make all this content to vertically center. So go to the topmost container and make these align items to the center. Okay, and I also want to make it a fixed height. Perfect. So our header section is done. Now we also need to create our that full width menu section. So from here, let's again add a two column structure. And first of all, I want to make it to the full width and also make it to full height. So make it to 100 VH. Here we can also see some padding around that. So also remove this. For now, I also want to make it a background color. So from here, make it to fully dark color. So basically, I want to place this whole section at the top of our screen. So from here, first we need to make its position to the fix and also need to increase the Z index to place it over the other elements of this page. Now on the left side, we will add our menu. So for this here, let's search for the icon list widget. 
and here we don't need these icons so from here delete that icon and i want to only keep the text and from here also you can put the link let's delete our other items and i just want to duplicate this couple more times for the second one let's change this text and also let's quickly change the other items now let's place them at the center of this container so go to the container settings and make the alignment to the center again go back to here and here i want to make the font bigger so from the typography let's make it to 48 pixel also change the font the weight to 600 and also change the line height to 1 em and also change the color to fully white color but also let's make it a little bit transparent and finally let's make some spacing between them that looks good so next go to the right side and here we will add all the images and for this here we also don't use this image widget instead we will do that by using the spacer widget because from here we can set our image as a background which has more control over the image widget okay so from here first let's make its height to 100 vh which is the same of our that whole container and from the advanced let's go to the background option and choose an image make its position to the center center and also size to cover here we also need to remove the padding so go to the container and make it to zero and here we also want to show more images at the same place so we need to duplicate this spacer widget but before that here i want to also make its position to the absolute because i want to show all of them at the same place okay now if we just duplicate this and for the second one let's upload an another image so here with each of the different images on the left side we also want to show different colors so we can also set that color from this color option so for this one i make it to the pink and for the first one let's make it to the black color and by following the process let's quickly create some other images okay so we have added six spacer widget for these six items so if you have more than six items you also need to add more spacer widget according to that now finally here i also want to add a close button at this corner because we definitely need a button to close our that full width menu so for that here let's drag an another container basically we need to drag it right after our this container to place it on the corner first we need to make its position to the absolute give it a height and width from here to place it over here from this option make it to right and from the right make it to 35 and also from the top 35 pixel then from the background option we also want to make it to a white color and also make a fully rounded corner Okay, now inside this, like our hamburger menu, we will also use the divider widget. So from here, let's just copy that widget and paste it inside here. And one more time. So here we can see some gap between them. To remove this, again go to the parent container and from here make the gap to zero and also make their alignment to the center. Now here you can see these two dividers are basically one after another so to place them at the exact same place here for our that second divider widget we need to push it a little bit top so from here let's make the top margin minus one and from here i want to rotate this to minus 45 degree and for the first divider i want to make it to only 45 degree so now we can see this really makes a perfect close icon shape so we have done all of our designs now we need to make it functional so first of all i want to work with our that hamburger icon and this close icon so we can open and close that menu here our this container is basically that hamburger icon right now which is at the behind of our this menu so first let's add a class with that mdw menu open and with our this close icon with this container we need to add another class mdw menu close 
and then go to the topmost container of this world with menu and also add a class and from here we also need to add some custom code and if you don't know to get this custom CSS option you have to have the Elementor Pro so if you don't have Elementor Pro you can also quickly get this from my link on the description so let's paste this code and here you also don't need to worry about any of the code snippet I'll also give the code snippet to my website and give that website link to my description so you just need to copy and paste that code with the CSS code. Lastly, we also need to add some more JavaScript code. So let's search for the HTML widget and drag it to here. Let's drag it right before this icon list widget and delete this. Let's also paste the code. And now if you click on update, and if you also don't set the display condition, from here you can also set that and click and save and close. Now from our website, we can see this menu is perfectly working and also this close menu. And we can also see a inference animation with our this menu items, which is really cool. But now when we hover over the menu items, we also want to show different color and the images. So again, go back to here and we need to go to the left column of this menu. And here we need to add another class, MDW menu left. And with this right one, let's make it to MDW menu right. And with this right one, we also need to add another portion of custom code. I know it's a lot of custom code, but if you want to make something creative only with just Elementor Pro, then we have to rely on the custom codes. Okay, let's save it again. And now we can see these different color and images for each of the menu items. But here these menu items are not perfectly highlighting so let's go to here and let's paste this custom CSS code. And now on hover, we can see that highlighted color. And if you want to change that highlight white color, you can also do that from this hover color option. Okay, now that looks perfect. Lastly, I want to fix some little things here. So we can see some little gaps here. So go again to this parent container and I want to make it to zero and also give some padding for this whole left container. So make it to 5%. And now this black color is basically comes from this image option. So previously we have said that black color from this container, we can now remove that. And another thing you don't may notice that if we see it from a little height devices and make it more small, here you can see at some point, we cannot see all of our this menu items or even this height. If you have a lot of menu items, you also cannot see all of them properly. So to solve this problem, here let's go again to this left container and here we need to paste some more code. Okay, now we can see all of our these menu items by scrolling inside this left container. So it's now perfectly working for our desktop. Now let's also quickly check this for our other devices. So for the tablet, here, I think we need to reduce the font size and also reduce the gap between them. Then on mobile, here first we need to fix this close icon. So here is this one. Let's fix the width to 45 pixel and move it little more to the corner. So also make this to value to 25 pixel. Now on mobile, for this menu items and for this background image, we have already made a different layout here. So here we have set black text color and this white background image. So if you want to also change them, you can do that from this mobile color and mobile background option. And here I want to just reduce the font size from here, make it to 27 pixel and also reduce the spacing. Let's also align them all to the middle. Perfect. So let's also look at our this header. And here we need to fix our this column width. So for this one, let's make it to 50% and also make this to 50% and make this inner container again to 30 pixel. Now we can see this menu is also perfectly working from the mobile devices. So that's it for today. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.